lecture series of the operating system. I am your instructor Varsha Ta. Let's start our lecture series. So topics to be covered in today's lecture that is mutual exclusion with passivity. In last lecture we have started this topic. Okay, so let's recall it. Mutual exclusion with busy waiting. So now what is the meaning of the busy waiting? When one process is there in the execution, other process will wait. So other process will do the busy wait. So that is what the busy waiting. So in last lecture, we have discussed these are the numbers of solutions for the uh, mutual exclusion with busy waiting. That means when one process is executing task, another process must have to wait okay so in last lecture we have started with the disabling interrupt so let's just recall it so here disabling interrupt here we have uh, seen this algorithm and then uh, this is the figure according to this algorithm for example the uh, process a and process b is that two processes are there and they want to enter in the critical section so what will happen so here you can see when uh, while the condition is true that means when the process want to enter in the critical section so that means the while condition is true uh, it disables the interrupt so here you can see at the time t when process A want to enter in the critical section. So it disables the interrupt and uh, it enters in the critical section. And at time T3, it completes its task and relieve, uh, release the critical section. Okay. And after the time T3, the remainder sections for the other processes. That means other process can get access to the critical section. Okay, so here uh, at the time T2, if the process B want to enter in the critical section, then it will not allow because process A is there in the critical section. Okay, so that we have learned in the last lecture, disabling interrupt. Now, what is the disadvantage of this that we have seen when the process uh, uh, disable the interrupt and never enables if then what will happen? No, any other process will get chance to uh, get access in the critical section. So, no, any other process will get, uh, will do its execution. Okay, so here what will happen? It will not satisfy all the conditions for the critical sections problem. That is the uh, mutual exclusion, progress and bounded weight. Uh, it satisfied the mutual exclusion but bounded weight and progress is not satisfied by the disabling interrupt. So let's see the another solution for this. So now the another solution is the shared and lock variable. So now uh, what will happen in this? This is the simplest synchronization mechanism. Okay, so this is a software mechanism implemented in the user mode. Okay, so this is what the software approach. Okay, so this is a busy waiting solution which can be used for more than uh, two processes. Okay, uh, here a shared lock variable having the value 0 or 1. Okay, uh, two values will be set for the lock variable 0 or 1. So now the process will wait infinitely until the value of lock is 1. That means if the value of lock is 1, other process will wait. That means the one process is executing in the critical sections. Okay, since at the very first time critical section is vacant, hence the process will enter in the critical section and by setting the lock variable to the 1. Let's see the process for this. So here, before entering into critical section, a process checks a shared variable or a lock variable. It will check if the value of lock is 0. That means uh, no any other process is there in the execution. So if the lock is 0, then is set to the 1 before entering the critical section. Okay, and enters into the critical section. So when the process leaves the critical section after completing a task, it set the lock variable to the 0 immediately. That means other process can get chance, uh, get chance to access the critical section. Now, if any process want to enter, uh, want to enter in the uh, critical section and value of lock is one, then what will happen? The process have to wait until it becomes zero by some other process which is in the critical section. So this is the basic logic about the uh, shared lock variable. So let's see about this. So let's see algorithm while true that means while the process want to enter in the critical section it will set the variable to 1. So for example here process uh, A want to enter in the critical section. So what will uh, A, it will check that lock variable is 0. Now it uh, 
uh, set the log variable to the one. So no any other process can get a chance to uh, access the critical section. Now the process is there in the critical section. It is executing its task. And uh, after it completes its execution, again it set the log variable to the zero. That means other process will get uh, access to the uh, critical section. So now at the time t3, suppose a other process like uh, process b want to enter the critical section and it will check the log. The log is zero. So that means it will uh, uh, use the critical section by setting the log one. Okay, so this is the remainder sections for the uh, process A because now it don't want to exceed the critical section. So this is the remainder section. Now, which are the problem with this shared log variable? So here, let's see if the process P0 sees the value of the log variable is zero and before it can set it to one, context switch occur. Okay, so if the context switch occurred, just process has seen the log variable is zero. Okay, now process P1 runs and finds the value of log is uh, zero. So it set the value to one and enters in the critical region. At the some point of the time P0 resumes and it sets the value of log variable to one and it enters in the critical section. So what is that? Now the two processes that the approved processes are there in the critical section. Process P0 and P1. So now here it is written that now two processes are there in the critical region accessing the same shared memory which violates the mutual exclusion condition. Okay, so it doesn't satisfy the mutual exclusion conditions if the two processes are uh, there at the same time in the critical section. So now uh, next solution is what the strict alteration. Okay. So turn variable or strict alteration approach is the software mechanism that is implemented in the user mode. So again, this is the software approach. Uh, it is a busy waiting solution which can be implemented for two processes. Okay. So uh, in this approach, a turn variable is used, which is actually a log. Okay, so turn variable we used that is a log. Uh, integer variable turn keeps the track of whose turn is that uh, to enter in the critical section. So for example, consider the process P0 and P1 is that. For process P0, the turn is 0 and process P1, the turn is 1. So if turn is 0, process P0 will go for the execution. And if pro turn is 1, then process 1 will go for the execution. So here, let's see the process. Initially, turn is zero. Uh, process zero inspect the turn, find it to be zero and enters in the critical section. Uh, process one also find it to zero and thereafter it sits in a loop continuously testing the turn to see when it becomes one. Okay, so continuously testing a variable waiting for some event that is also known as the busy waiting as uh, we are discussing about the busy waiting. Uh, when process 0 exists, the critical section, it set the turn to 1 and now the process 1 can find uh, that its turn is 1 and it's enter in the critical section. So like this way, both processes will get alternate turn to enter in the critical section. Okay, so let's see. So here you can see the process P0 and process P1 is there. So while true, that means what the while the process want to enter into, into the critical section, that means the condition is true. After that, uh, suppose we will uh, see about this process P0. After that, while turn not equal to 0. Okay, so while turn is not equal to zero, it will continuously loop, uh, continuously loop and test uh, whether the turn is equal to zero. So here let's see uh, the process zero and process P1. Suppose initially uh, it's defined the turn is a uh, zero. Now suppose at time T1 process P1 one, uh, sorry, at the time T1, this process 0 want to enter in the critical section. So uh, it is the turn 0. So process 0 can enter in the critical section. So what will happen? So 0 enters in the critical section as the turn variable is 0. Uh, so here you can see the while turn is 0. That means the condition is uh, uh, false. So that means the, it will enter in the critical section. 
uh, it will be loop in uh, while the condition is false so while turn is not equal to 0 it will continuously uh, checking so that means it will be in the loop while the condition is false that means while the turn is equal to 0 it will enter in the critical section so now it completes its task Okay, at time t0, uh, at time t2, suppose uh, uh, process 1 want to enter in the critical section. So, what it will check here again, check the process 1's algorithm, y2, that means process 1 to enter in the critical section. Okay, so here, uh, what will happen? Uh, here, while turn is not equal to 1, because uh, turn is what? Right now, 0 process is executing. So, that's why what will happen? Uh, 1 will wait until and unless that process P0 will complete its task. So, one will busy wait. After uh, the completions of the execution at time T3, process 0 leaves the critical section and it set the turn variable to 1. Now, process P1 is continuously checking. So, uh, now the turn is equal to 1. That means the condition is false. So, now it will come out from the while loop. So, uh, clear. now it's entered in the critical region and uh, uh, after completing its task in the critical region, uh, it will again set the turn is equal to 0. Okay, so here 1 leaves the critical section and it set the turn is equal to 0. Okay, suppose at time P5, one uh, process I uh, want to enter in the critical section. So, what will happen? It cannot get chance to enter in the critical section because right now the turn is 0. When turn will become 1, it can enter in the critical section. So, again, there is a problem in this. Now, let's see. So, uh, strict alteration disadvantages. Taking turn is not a good idea when one of the process is much slower than the other. When uh, two processes have the same speed for the execution then and only then this variable will, uh, this uh, solution will uh, work fruitful. So, synchronization issue is there in the strict alteration. Now, here let's see. Uh, consider this uh, situation for two processes P0 and P1. Uh, P0 lives in the critical, uh, P0 lives its critical section and set turn to 1 and enters into non-critical region. Now uh, P1 enters and finishes its critical region and set turn to uh, 0. So now both P0 and P1 are there in the non-critical region. So, no any other process uh, can execute its task because this is the solution uh, for just for the uh, two processes. So, P0 finishes the non-critical uh, region and enters into critical region and again uh, it leaves the region and set the turn to the 1. So, P0 and P1 is now in the non-critical region. Okay, so this is also what the disadvantage. Now, another disadvantage is what? So, P0 finishes uh, its critical region but cannot enter uh, into a critical region because the turn is 1 and its turn of P1, uh, now it is the turn of P1 to enter in the critical section. So, hence P0 cannot enter in the critical section. Uh, why? Because turn is not 0 and process P1 is, is not executing uh, its task and it doesn't set the turn 0. That's why. So, here... Uh, Process will wait and wait until its turn becomes 0 or 1. Got it? So, it waits the CPU time. So, we uh, should avoid the busy waiting uh, as much as we can. So, this, uh, this is the problem in the strict alteration. So, summary of this lecture, we have learned about the mutual exclusion with busy waiting in which we have covered the two topics, uh, shared lock variable, that is a software approach and then we have covered the strict alteration, uh, that is again a software approach. Okay, in short, shared lock variable, there is a one lock variable uh, which is uh, defined which process will there in the execution, but uh, what is the problem of that? Uh, if the context switch will occur and if the process has seen that there is a chance uh, uh, its chance to execute in the critical section and context switch occur. So, other the process will get the chance for the execution and again the uh, that process that context switch uh, will resume its execution.
execution so what will happen at the same time two processes are there in the execution so this uh, violate the principle of the mutual exclusion okay and in strict alteration again uh, at the same time no any process is there in the critical section but what will happen progress is not there why because the process will wait until it uh, get chance to execute and again bounded wait is not satisfied so this is the disadvantage of the uh, strict alteration approach and uh, now remaining topic of this uh, mutual exclusion with busy waiting we will cover in the next lecture okay so thank you for watching we will meet in the next lecture with a new topic thank you